Hey guys, Cooler Bravo here. Just wanted to give all the new players out there a little bit of an orientation to see if these. So every time you spawn in, you're going to spawn into one of the local bars at one of the outposts. So take a look around. There's going to be a bar matron that'll serve you some grog if need be. But more importantly, there's going to be some barrels in the room. So these types of barrels store bananas, they store planks, and they store cannonballs. So if you can walk up to them and click X on them, then they'll come into your inventory. So if you hit your bumper, you'll see what's inside your inventory and what you have for tools. And as you can see right there, I have no bananas, cannonballs, or planks. So I click them and they end up coming into my inventory. And I'm going to show you what you're going to want to do with that stuff in two seconds here. And that's Goat. He's kind of fun. He just likes dancing. If you're walking outside of the bar, you're going to find lots of these barrels scattered around the world. And you're going to want to make sure that you're grabbing the resources out of those barrels to stock up your ship. So take all those resources back to your ship. And there's going to be barrels on your ship where you can store your resources. So on the bottom deck of the sloop, you have a banana barrel where you can hit Y and store your bananas if you have your banana in your hand. You also have your plank barrel where if you have your planks in your hand, you can store them. On the sloop, on the top deck, you have a cannonball barrel, or two cannonball barrels, where you can store your cannons. On the galleons, all these are located on the second deck. Next up is quests. So the voyage systems in Sea of Thieves are found from three different individuals. The first up is the Merchant Alliance. This person can be found on the dock of any outpost. If you go up and talk to them, they'll give you an option to buy three quests. And those are located at the bottom left hand side. The next quest or voyage provider is the Gold Hoarders. They're located in the tent outside in each outpost. You can go to talk to them as well, and they'll give you the option to buy any three quests. You can only have three quests in your inventory or three voyages in your inventory at any given time. The third quest provider is the Order of Souls, and they give you the exact same options where you can buy three quests. So bring those voyages that you just purchased back to your ship and place them on the voyage table. To place it on the voyage table, go up to it and press X and then choose the voyage you want to put down the table. You can have up to four voyages thrown down on the table if you have four players in your crew and then you end up voting on the voyage that's going to go forward. In this case, Goat and I have chosen to take a quest with the Gold Hoarders. Once you have that quest, you can look at it by hitting your bumper, which brings up your map wheel. This shows all the active quests that you have right now. This could be messages in the bottle, or Order of Souls quests, or Merchant Alliance. Once you know where you need to go, which is written on the quest, go to your map table and locate the location where you need to go. In our case, it's Snake Island, so we need to head to the north. Now I'll give you a quick overview of the ship itself. On the bottom deck of the sloop, you have your clothing chest where you can equip any of the clothing items that you own. You can scroll through and choose a new hat, or put in a different coat or different gloves. You also have your vanity chest, so this allows you to equip different beards, hooks, or peg legs, or equip your titles that you've earned along your voyages. Lastly, on the bottom deck, you have your equipment chest. So this allows you to equip different shovels, buckets, compasses, and musical instruments. Also, you have your grog tankard, so you can refill your grog cup if you're getting a little tipsy during your journeys. On the upper deck, you have your anchor, which needs to be pushed or pulled to slow it down to raise or lower your anchor. You can also drop your anchor just by hitting X when the anchor is all the way up. You have your sail angle, which moves left and right to move your sail angle. You can see which way the wind's blowing by the flag on the very top or the white streaks that are going across the screen. And you want to put your sails into the wind to get full of bellows. And you can adjust your sail length by moving down or up. If the sails are all the way down, you can go faster. If they're all the way up, you go slower. On the front of the boat, you have two cannons that shoot off the right or left side, as well as two lights. There's also a third light that's located on the helm. On the mid deck of the sloop, you have your armory, and this allows you to equip new weapons, 
between your sniper rifle, or also known as your eye of reach, your blunderbust, or your pistol, and your sword. At any given time, you're allowed to be holding two weapons, so equip them into slot number one or slot number two. Underneath your armory is your ammo chest to reload your weapons, and at the back of the boat, on the sloop, is your map table, which allows you to put a circle on the map to locate certain positions or islands that you want to go. Zooming in or out really helps locate the smaller islands that are hard to see on your voyages. Next up is where to buy things. So in each one of the outposts, there's three different types of merchants. There's an armorer, which will sell you a new blunderbuss, a new sword, a new eye of reach, or a new pistol. Each one of these items is just a skin on the original gun and is for vanity purposes. There's a clothing store that allows you to buy new hats, new beards, new jackets, and most importantly, new titles. The third store is the equipment store. This allows you to buy new buckets, new musical instruments, as well as new shovels. Outside of that store is an equipment chest to re-equip anything you just purchased. Lastly, on the dock is the shipwright. This person allows you to buy new sails, new haul, or a new figurehead for your ship. To equip those items that you just purchased for your ship, there's a chest right below the shipwright. And click the item that you want to equip on your current ship. Well, that's it. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We always appreciate the support.